Hey guys, how's it going? Defcon here from EpicWins.com, and as always, bring you another tutorial uh, for the World of Warcraft, as that's what my website deals with. And if I gave you a tutorial on Java beans or energy drinks, it wouldn't really apply. So, anyway, um, a user on the forums on EpicWins.com, I am Druid, I believe her name is, asked me to post a video about add-ons. And uh, that's what I'm going to do today. So uh, first thing you need to know is um, add-ons are a simple uh, tool that you can add or change your interface with or maybe uh, let you know when one of your procs happens. Uh, if you're a mage, they can let you know when Arcane Barrage procs and all such things like that, hot streak, whatnot. Um, all kinds of different things. Um, a few of the websites I use for... Uh, my add-ons is uh, curse.com, wowmatrix.com. They all work very well, but what I'm going to show you how to do today is to uh, download your add-on and then simply um, how to make it work in your own uh, wow directory and program files. So hang in there, and that's what we're going to do. Hey guys, how's it going? Defcon here from EpicWins.com. That's it right there. And look at this lovely website. And if you're not a member yet, you're going to want to go ahead and click on register and walk through that process. Uh, I don't think I need to make a tutorial for it. But regardless, it helps us both out. So go ahead and do it up if you feel like it. If not, here's what you came for anyway. Uh, we're going to go to ahead to curse.com. It's www.curse.com. This is one of the many, uh, and my personal favorite, um, of the WoW World of Warcraft add-on websites. And uh, so we're obviously going to navigate to World of Warcraft here on the front page. And we're going to get you started on using add-ons. Now, uh, Recount is the add-on we're going to be, uh, we're going to be um, using today. And it is right here. Um, because it is a very uh, popular add-on, and that is a damage meter. But we're going to go ahead and search for it anyway to walk you through this. And there we go. Uh, here's recount. All right. So what we're going to do, go ahead and do here is uh, we're going to download this, and that is a, a manual download here. We're going to go to manual install. Uh, this is the the option I'm trying to show you today if you want to get acquainted with the automatic install uh, head to curse.com and uh, read the tutorial on it um, but for most people manual install is the way I like to go so I'm going to show you how we're going to head and click on manual install and then we're going to get a pop up here okay and we're going to save this file it's a zip file um, which if you have XP or Vista should work either way um, if not, you're going to need a compression utility such as WinZip or WinRAR to get that open. Um, so we're going to save this file. Make sure we save it to the desktop. If you have any option where you need to, I have mine set to default to the desktop. If you have any option at all, uh, save it to the desktop or remember where you did save it. So we're going to go ahead and save that. All right, so our download is done. And we're going to go ahead and minimize curse.com. And here we have uh, recount, uh, our compressed zip folder. Okay. So we're going to double click that to open it. Um, mind you, that should work in XP and uh, Vista, 64 and 32 bit. And we're going to drag recount out of there onto the desktop. And it's going to ask if we want to move the files. And we click yes. And we'll get a progress bar. And it shows us how to do that. Very cool. So here we go. Here we have recount. Uh, now uncompressed and we can go ahead and get rid of the zip folder now and uh, now you're wondering what do we do with this folder well I'll tell you what we're gonna go ahead down here and if you're on XP or Vista um, it doesn't make a huge difference if you're on XP you're gonna click the start button and you're gonna go to run which should be over here somewhere on Vista you're gonna go to start search here and in that text box you're gonna type C colon backslash and then you should find World of Warcraft in there. Okay. So once you get that, they get that window open. Then this is uh, our World of Warcraft directory. Uh, this is whatever directory you installed Warcraft into uh, when you installed the software. 
And uh, basically what we're looking for here is this folder right here, which is called interface. So to go ahead and double click interface. And here's add-ons, how appropriately named. We're going to double click add-ons. Okay, so here you can see um, yours might not be this cluttered. I have a bunch of add-ons installed. Um, so don't pay attention to that. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to move this over here a little bit, make it a little smaller, and we'll get it out of the way here. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and drag recount into here. Okay. And we'll find it in here. Okay, so um, pretty much all you missed was me closing my folder and opening Warcraft. And uh, uh, silly me, I forgot to let you see my password. So um, what we're going to do once we get in here is you're going to click on Add-ons. And now you can go ahead and select which guy you're on here and go ahead and do that. Now what we're looking for here is the one you just put in, which is Recount, which should automatically... Uh, be checked and active uh, out of default. So go ahead and click OK. And then all you need to do now is enter the game world. And once you do that, you could usually type forward slash recount or uh, a command like that, which should say on the site that you downloaded the add on from. And it'll let you um, load it up and start using it. So now you know how to download and install an add on. And uh, hopefully that will be of some help to you. If you have any questions or you want to find out some more stuff about the game, head on over to epicwins.com. i um, starting to take tutorial requests right now. My downtime. So shoot me an email. Register. Do what you got to do. Until then, thank you very much. And I'll see you there.